almost every day. Some variant of the question, you know, it's either he only put it in for a minute or it was only in like this much, like it was in like a half an inch. Does that count? You and me are if I want to define virginity as a state of mind, as early Christian theologians did, then I probably lost my virginity when I was like seven. I actually lost my virginity twice. If I masturbated, did I lose my virginity? If I have sex with my girlfriend and I'm a lesbian, do I have a virginity in the first place? If I was raped, you know, that's a really big one. You can't weigh virginity on a scale. You can't send in a virginity sniffing dog. There's all this confusion now, like what, what does it really mean? Young women are growing up thinking that you have two choices. Abstinence only education is telling you, you know, not to, and Girls Gone Wild is telling you how to. This is the first of their two day shoots for Barely Legal 82. What These is are the famous Barely Legal white panties. I'm told that even if we haven't seen one through 81, we'll still be able to follow the plot. So people are fascinated with someone that decides not to have sex, and they really look for that thing that's wrong with you. But she's not fat. She's not Mormon. It feels like I'm contained in some sort of apparatus. When you're raised in that mentality of don't have sex before marriage, it inadvertently makes sex this huge thing. This is the hymen, or maidenhead. All I remember about sex education was a woman standing there with a banana. She unrolled a condom onto a banana. That was it. And I was like, but how do we get to the banana? Like, I... <laughs> we have people signing virginity pledges, many of them feeling that oral sex and anal sex is not sex. With women, there's this sense that we only have so many times we can have sex before we go bad. And if you use it all up, you know, in your 20s with a bunch of different dudes, somehow, you know, if you decide to get married later on, your husband is going to run out of supply. If you say you have it, you're a prude. If you say you have, you're a slut. You always have to ask the question, who is doing the controlling and who benefits from that control being done? And with virginity, the answer is never the woman. 